Ali Bain's friend, J.P. Fraley, is a mining engineer from the same neck of the woods. J.P., you've been collecting music from around this part for years, haven't you, off and on? Well, I, I didn't actually realize it, Ali, but when I started to play the fiddle, that day I started collecting fiddle tunes, which all fiddlers know. And uh, I was uh, lucky, I mean, I guess, to grow up in a part of Kentucky where that I grew up at that particular time, where there's several fiddlers around close that was fiddling uh, East Kentucky fiddle, we call it, and but they was fiddling yeah. Uh, distinctly different styles. Yeah, I was talking to Mike Seeger earlier on, and he was saying that uh, around about the late 50s, there wasn't much of this music being played around here. In fact, he made a kind of a strange remark. He said that um, he said actually people were ashamed of it sometimes. But why would that be? Well, they were because uh, the, in, in after World War II, the Kentucky, the backwoods or backland part of Kentucky, was opened up, the roads were better and so forth, and uh, the advent of television, better radio, better communications, and uh, the people they begin to hear uh, and see done, you know, other music other than uh, what they grew up with, their heritage or tradition, and they were ashamed uh, of the music because uh, seemingly uh, some places that was well known for uh, country music or mountain music as we called it, they satirized the fiddler as a, a drinking, fighting, roused about, and uh, uh, you know various things that yeah. wasn't uh, didn't have much, too much character. He, he become uh, a person that was uh, not very well educated. Play what I call gum stump fiddle. You know, a bunch of squeaks and cracks and carrying on, which we've heard on some of the old uh, old records. Yeah. That was uh, actually some of the people. Uh, thought of that that was really the way it, it all was. How did the fiddle go down, you know, with the church? Were they like against the music? Living in Kentucky, you live in what was a state as part of the Bible Belt, and the book of the people were Protestant religion. And uh, when I, when, where I grew up, uh, they were predominantly Baptist, and uh, what we call holiness. And they looked at the fiddle as a device to send you straight to torment, they called it. <laughs> It was called the devil's box. But now, when I was growing up, they still used organs in the church alley, the old pump organs, yeah. and they'd play uh, the old favorite hymns, like the old rugged cross and uh, will the circle be unbroken. But sometimes the organ would break down, and uh, then the fiddler, until they got the organ fixed, yeah. he was allowed to play the hymns in church yeah. as long as he didn't swing it. <laughs> and, and when the organ was fixed, he was no longer welcome in there playing that devil's box. 